All right, hi team. Welcome to your abs, buns, and guns. For class today, you're gonna bring your ankle weights in if you have them. If not, that's totally fine. You can go without your ankle weights. You can maybe even bring in a resistance band, a small loop band to put around the tops of your knees for certain exercises. You're also gonna bring in one to two sets of weights. So I have a really light set for my core work and just for some shoulder stuff. And then I have my heavier set when we come into our upper body sequence. Um, so you'll be able to swap those out if you need something heavier, you need something lighter. You're gonna start with the light set of weights splitting the middle of your mat. And we're gonna start with the ankle weights on and we're gonna wear them the whole class. So if at any point you feel like it becomes too much, or if you feel any pain in your knees, your hips, or your lower back, you're gonna take them off and do the class without the ankle weight. So just adding the extra challenge there. And you're gonna start lying down on your back, feet flat on the floor, hip width distance. You're in your Pilates stance to begin. Arms are by your sides, palms into the floor, shoulders relaxed down the back. And just taking a moment, setting your intention. We don't always do this, but the whole uh, topic or theme of the class day is our intention and how that can manifest into reality into, from the thoughts and uh, the things that we want in this life and how we get them, how they become uh, reality. So palms are down, just taking a moment, coming into the body, coming into the breath, inhaling through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, now you're gonna tilt the pelvis and peel the hips up to find your bridge. We're going for spinal articulation. Inhale at the top, exhale, rolling down one piece, one vertebra at a time. Hips touch the floor, neutral spine, inhale. Exhale, navel in towards the spine, engage through the core, that tilts the pelvis, hip points towards the sternum, hips go up, inhale. Exhale, roll down. You've got two more. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, having control over the spine, over the movement sequentially, one at a time. Matching movement with breath, feeling the feet press down into the floor. All four corners root down, toes are facing forward. Last one, inhale at the top. Exhale, roll down with control. You're in your neutral spine, you're gonna grab your dumbbells. Option to leave them on the floor. Hands to the tops of the thighs. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, peel head and shoulders off the mat. You engage the core. You're in your C curve. Little pulse, little lift. Exhaling out through the mouth, out through pursed lips. You pull the navel in towards the spine. Abs pull in and up. Shoulders down the back so you feel the lats engage. Every time you exhale, it lifts you higher for 10, nine, eight. Hands are on the thighs, sliding towards the knees. Five, four, three, two, last one, lock it in, hold at the top, reach the arms back, inhale, exhale, circle, sweep the arms forward, inhale, reach, exhale. If it's too much for the shoulders, release the weights, maintain your C curve, and your upper abs are gonna light up as soon as you bring the arms back. For three, two, last one, reach the arms forward, slight bend in the elbows, palms up, little oblique reach right to left. Keep your back pressing into the floor and you're just squeezing the hip to rib connection on the right, hip to rib connection on the left. Reaching the dumbbell closer towards the foot, towards the ankle. Shoulders down the back, open through the collarbones, open through the chest. Slight tuck of the chin, looking forward through the legs for five, four, three, two, last one, come back through center hold. Now you reverse it, sweep the arms back and then strong, press the arms down. Big sweep back, trying to keep both shoulder blades off the floor, that's gonna be the challenge. Looking for range of motion in the arms and the shoulders and stability into the joint. Five, four, three, two, last one, release down. You're gonna keep your dumbbells with you. Just bend your elbows about 45 degrees from the body, fists up to the ceiling. Step your right heel slightly forward of the left foot. We're bridging, flat back, big squeeze of the glutes at the top, lower, and squeeze. Down, squeeze. The body moves in one piece. So you wanna make sure even though the hips are lowering to the floor, you're not leading with the tailbone, which would look like this right, and letting the, the ribs flare. We're gonna lock everything in. If it feels okay, you can lift the head off the floor, chin to chest, 
so that you can see that your whole spine is moving in one piece. Double time, lift, lift, lift. Drive through left foot, right heel for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, just slide your right foot in, left foot marches, right foot marches. You're coming into a tabletop march. So now you start to feel the weight of the ankle weights on the legs. Option to stay here. Maybe you take the arms a little bit wider and you can add the opposite arm, single arm press. So now we're working stability through the core, hamstring, glutes, posterior chain lift, and then we're adding this little light chest press. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold at the top, slide the left heel forward of the right toes this time, we go back to the bridge, you can leave the arms where they are or add the press, down, press, lower, hips and elbows, same time, elbows are slightly wide, not 90, so they don't need to be up here by the shoulders, about 45 degrees out from the body, squeeze the chest, squeeze the glutes, Double time, here we go, down, lift, lift. If that's too much, keep the arms up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Dumbbells come down, you're gonna hug both knees into the chest, little rounding through the spine, and start to rock and roll forward and back. You have three reps. On your last one, crossing over the shins, plant the palms, just step back to all fours. Slide your dumbbells out of the way for now. You're gonna step left foot, outside left hand, pick up the right knee, switch. So we're moving through a tabletop position, shoulders stacked over wrists, knees underneath the hips, big steps. So you're still engaging the core here, and then shooting the leg, lifting the heel, it's gonna be a big squeeze of the quads. Three, two, last one, right knee down. Leave the left foot forward, cat and cow. Inhale, maybe hips dip, dip, lift and open the chest. Exhale, round the spine, chin towards the chest. Two more, inhale, exhale. Belly pulls in and up, last one, inhale, open, exhale. Come back to your tabletop position. We're gonna prep the shoulders. We're gonna start with a little serratus. So a little movement of the shoulder blades. Keep the arms absolutely straight and keep the rest of the spine still. Just the shoulder blades, they squeeze together and then you're gonna pull the shoulder blades apart. So I want you to imagine two elevator doors like this, opening and closing. Just for five, four, Three, belly pulled in, core tight, two. Last one, just bend, right and lift. Little shoulder dip. You can allow the elbow to hover or maybe it touches the floor. Maybe you shift the weight so it's a little oblique from side to side. Maybe you stay straight on. Just 10, nine, eight. Keep the weight in the hands. Try not to rock back onto the wrist. For five, four, three, two, one, lower to your right forearm. You're gonna stack the shoulder right on top of the elbow, step the feet back and pivot open into your side plank on the forearm. Feet can be stacked or staggered, left foot in front of right, heel to toe alignment, or left foot on top of right, left hand behind the head, elbow high, inhale and exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. So you're squeezing the right oblique, the underside of the body, pull the elbows apart, and then rotate through the mid, that thoracic spine, to close the elbow down. And looking at the intention of the movement to start warming up the obliques, building stability in the shoulder, strength through the core, and rotation through the spine for four, three, two, one. Right to the other side, left forearm goes down, my back's gonna go to you. I'm gonna pivot, right elbow up, feet staggered, or stacked. 
go with the breath. Eyes can follow the elbow if you can look up to the ceiling or just look to the side wall. Make sure your hips are not rotating with the rest of the body. So this is where we have to isolate the lower body and let other parts of the spine and the torso rotate. Breathing here for five, four, three, two, last one. Come back through center, drop your knees. You're gonna come back up onto your palms and we reset, right foot forward, pick up the left knee, move through all fours. Try and keep the spine long. It's really easy in this position to let the spine round, but I want you to try and maintain a neutral spine with energy coming forward through the crown of the head and back through the back heel. For four, three, two, you've got one more. Right foot stays forward this time, shift the hips. Inhale, open, exhale, round. Cat and cow, stretching through the hip flexor into the quads and then through the back. Open the chest, last one. Come back through center. We're going right to our forearms. So you've got two drills back to back, 60 seconds. We've got our saw and our serratus.